CustomTactics.com here, and today the knife I'm reviewing is the Chris Smith Tactical Folder. Um, this one is uh, doesn't really have a name, it's just a tactical folder from Chris Smith, who's uh, J.W. Smith's son, so some good pedigree there. Um, I wore a couple of J, uh, J.W. Smith's tactical folders in the past with the exact same construction as this, and uh, to be quite honest, I, I can't tell the difference. Um, in quality or style, um, his his knives look exactly like his father's, and 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 that's that's a that's a it's a compliment. Um, this one's a little larger than the J W Smiths I've owned in the past, uh, and and also this one has the inlay, whereas the J W Smith folders I've had in the past are are uh, utilize a carbon fiber overlay, and they're um, integral frame locks, whereas this one has a inset liner lock. Uh, signatures there on the tang. This one's a pretty good size, a pretty good size folder here. Measures uh, almost three and a half inches on the blade, and uh, just over eight inches overall, or actually about eight inches overall. Uh, inlay there is a blue and black G10. And it sort of comes up a little bit. It's not totally flush like interframe style, but it is inlaid. Solid bead blasted titanium backspacer, which is nice. Um, looks like a custom made titanium uh, pocket clip. It's a it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit thin, so it may not fit over jeans or or thicker things too well. And I've had that happen with some of these types of titanium pocket clips that are that are custom made as opposed to the the uh, the ones that a lot of custom makers purchase just off the shelf. I do like the the the, the look of, of the custom pocket clip, but sometimes they they don't quite work as well. Um, blade is uh, hand rubbed S30V on this one. Uh, nice sort of a little uh, polished job. It looks like after after it's been hand rubbed, so a little bit of polish on it. Um, which uh, I like, kind of gives it a extra little sheen. Uh, the thumb disc is great for two-handed opening um, with a liner lock, though it's uh, not quite as lefty-friendly. Lanyard hole there that goes all the way through, which is nice. Um, it's very smooth, and, and the fit and finish are, are very good on this knife. Very little blade wobble. Um, uh, the pivot probably could be tightened down a little bit. It's extremely smooth. <laughs> Flicks open with the thumb quite easily. Um, generally speaking, uh, a very nice knife from Chris uh, from Chris Smith, and uh, I would definitely consider purchasing another knife from him. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the review.